We have something very special from Hermes. It was something on my wish list that I had asked for. Let me show you the box right now. So maybe some of you will have an idea what it is. There were a few things for my vacation that I was eyeing for, so I went there to shop. I know you guys prefer that I do a bigger collective haul of the other stuff, but I feel like this one definitely deserves its own video because I know a lot of people would be interested in this. But first, I have to show you my beautiful jewelry. And in case you haven't noticed it, this beautiful new piece which is called the power ear cuff these pieces are from ideal of course and this video is in collaboration with ideal you guys already know i love and support a good company that makes beautiful products by the way i don't have an ear piercing on anywhere else except right here so i love the fact that i'm able to fake another ear piercing by just wearing their ear cuff they have a few different ones but i had my eye on this one for a while and i'm so glad that i got it this time it's really really beautiful Beautiful. I paired it with my Lucia earrings. You guys have already seen this in the past, I'm sure. If not, I'll just link it down below. On my right side, I have the Tara with a large teardrop diamond dangling with the Tara. You can also wear it as a necklace, which is what I've shown you here. Look how gorgeous it is as a beautiful lariat pendant. The Tara add-ons are their newest additions and the power cuff has been around for a little while, but always sold out it's very very popular with every order it comes with different accessories and gifts and because it is my birthday month they were so kind and sent me a beautiful card i'm just so honored to be able to work with such a great company like i said ideal if you don't know already i've talked about them many many times they make fine jewelry with lab grown diamonds and 14 karat gold because the diamonds are lab grown they're a lot more sustainable and also a lot more cost friendly and not only that they can also be very precise in terms of producing the highest quality diamonds which is why their diamonds are always so sparkly and so white not only that the fact that their designs are modular it's genius because you can mix and match. For example, if you are into earrings, you can buy the studs. I'm wearing the medium studs right here. I think the medium size stud is the best right in between, not too small, not too big, and goes with all the designs that they have out there. And you just build your collection of different add-ons over time. It's just genius. Same with their necklaces. I always wear three necklaces, two of which are Ideal. I'm so proud to be working with Ideal because they're such a great company and they make beautiful, beautiful products. If you're interested to check out any of the pieces, I will link them down below. You can also use my coupon code FashionablyAmy10 to save 10% at checkout. All right, let's get into the unboxing. I think a lot of people will be really interested in this piece because it's one of those pieces that are very very hard to get just like anything at Hermes of course but some of you might not be into it because of the price point so we'll have a little chit chat about this product to reveal what I got it's <laughs> I'm so glad I finally got it on time for my vacation it is the Constance wallet but wait, decided to splurge on an Hermes wallet because they're very, very expensive. But this is not just their regular wallet, like I said, so let me just open it up. It also comes with a detachable strap. It's Hermes version of a wallet on chain. But otherwise, without the strap, this is really just like their regular Constance wallet minus a few card slots. There's a little hardware piece right here and it's just the it's just a strap that only fits this wallet obviously so you would think that because the price of the constance wallet to go is so expensive that it wouldn't be a popular item well <laughs> contrary to that it's actually always sold out it's very very difficult to get a hold of one i've been asking for one for a long time so i've just looped through one side you see let me just redo it I've just looped through one side of the strap and you just press it onto this little nub here, which once you do that, it's very, very hard. Like, trust me guys, it's very, very hard to uninstall, uh, which is a good thing, I suppose, but uh, you're gonna need a little bit of like elbow grease to take this out. Okay, let me give you a 360 of the wallet. In real life, the Epsom leather appears a little bit more muted. It's almost like a dark charcoal instead of a black color 
but I think with the camera reflection, it looks a lot more saturated. In real life, it actually looks more like a dark charcoal, which is okay, but between different batches of leathers, they do look very different. The inside lining, which is a swift leather. Yes, I know. I didn't realize that, but it's kind of delicate in a way that you can get a lot of scratch on it, but it is meant to be used. A lot of it is lined in swift, such as the inside here and yeah, the inside right here as well and also the front side right here. So you've got a combination of both. Swift leather in general is more luxurious. With the Constance wallet, you have one slip pocket in the back, another one right in front of it, and then six card slots right there. Um, one bigger compartment here, one bigger compartment in the front, another zip compartment in the middle, and another slip compartment right here in the front. So you've got a ton of compartment compared to the Kelly wallet or the Kelly to go wallet, which I don't have one, but I'm sure you can just look it up. Um, it's a lot simpler than the Constance wallet. And I'll get into why I prefer the Constance versus the Kelly. Actually, before we do that, let's remove the stickers together because that's always so fun, right? I love taking out the sticker because otherwise look at it. So unflattering. I'm just not into the whole plastic look. And I know once I remove the stickers, it will start collecting the scratches. But like I told you guys, I've had a tarnishing issue with my very first bag and it wasn't my fault. It came like that. And I think it was because during the pandemic, a lot of um, the bags were probably stuck in the shipments while in transit. Probably contributed to the fact that um, it was so low in stock during the pandemic, but also the fact that they've been sitting in the storage boxes in not very ideal condition for bags. Um, that's probably why mine was already tarnished by the time it came. It's just so much nicer to use it without. These stickers are not meant to be staying there forever anyway. It's just for the artisan to install it without scratching the, the hardware. I'm pretty sure that's the reason why they have it there. I like to do it with you guys because it's just a nice, nice little, very satisfying thing to, to watch, I think, you know? Which is why I always hope that it's focusing on the bag, not on me. <laughs> Here, let's do this last one. It's a little hard when I can't look at it. <laughs> oh my gosh, so much better now. So much, so much better. So can you already picture me in this outfit? on the cruise and you know while I am walking around inside the cruise ship I will just be wearing this crossbody because what do you actually need otherwise right you just need your room key your phone if even oh uh, yeah you, you need your phone for picture taking because I don't know if we'll get any reception but <laughs> you'll need your phone your room key a little bit of cash um, a lipstick maybe hand sanitizer if even um, all of this will fit in here, which is the reason why I really, really wanted one just to have one because I've been, you know, wanting to buy a wallet. Yeah, but I also wanted the wallet to be a very versatile piece in my collection. I wanted it to be a bag. I will essentially treat this as a bag. And going back to why I chose the Constance versus the Kelly, um, they're both beautiful. Don't get me wrong with the Kelly. You know what? I used to really like the Kelly look a lot more. It doesn't bother me that the H is a bit loud. I really do like the aesthetic of the Kelly, don't get me wrong, but uh, with the closure being so fussy already on their bags, on a much smaller wallet, and because it's such a thin item, I definitely want to make maximum use of it. By the way, the I'm not doing a very good review, but this is more of an unboxing review. There's also a, a back pocket on the Constance version, which you don't get on the Kelly version. On the Kelly, which I'll put a picture beside, it's a lot more simple design compared to the Constance. And I think for that reason, the Kelly to go wallet has always been less expensive than the Constance. But I think because it's so popular that people buy more of the Kelly to go that they've increased the price to be the same as the Constance, which, um, in any case, I've always thought that for the convenience and for the fact that the Constance actually fits more, I just prefer the Constance for the ease of use. It's just because this clasp here, which I do own a Constance Slim, um, I'm just the biggest fan of opening and closing this thing. It's so, so fun. So at nighttime, I can just hold it as a clutch. 
maybe no I won't take out the strap but maybe I'll just kind of like do this and walk around like this or like this as a clutch so it's a beautiful sort of clutch looking wallet but it's also a daytime bag this is not only a, an expensive wallet but it's basically the price of a very expensive bag which I know a lot of people will be, will be deterred from buying this because um, you can just save up slightly more and you can get the Constance bag I don't disagree with you I think if I could have gotten a Constance bag I would just get a Constance bag but a Constance bag is also a quarter bag here so it's not like I can just wait around another year just to try to get a Constance bag while I'm trying to get something for right now while I can use um, so you know there's a bit of that reason too but I also always have wanted a wallet and I never owned a wallet on chain so this is probably the closest to any wallet on chains even though it's a strap not a chain um, that I would ever get in my life and it will be the only one because it's a quite expensive one in Canada for the Epsom uh, and regular hardware it will be just over eight thousand dollars after tax and so it's a lot of money <laughs> yeah it's a lot of money which is why it's ridiculous it really is it's seriously crazy money um you can buy mini bags with that kind of money that's definitely a con for the constants to go wallet um but there are many pros like i said it's a very thin profile anytime you're just on the go and you want to be very lightweight the fact that it is a longer profile allows you to put your phone and you have so many compartments that you can fit them in you can put it in the very front at the very back you can even put it in the back actually uh, for ease of access but let's just say that we will do it um, right at the back at the very back because there are larger bills so maybe I just want to hide those right there some smaller bills in the front maybe for very very quick access so let's do that right here at the very front six cards right here they're just compass cards i can put them in their individual slots this wallet is huge it will be able to fit any size phone so you don't have to worry about the size of your phone for this wallet it fits in there so easily so right now i have cash cards and phone and it fits so beautifully and as you can see there's still space i know a lot of people really get away with a lot more i know a lot of you don't like seeing sanitizers inside bags but we'll just do it because i just stand it up it's not going to leak or anything um and i need to get one of those sanitizer that is like almost like a card it still has space guys let me put the keys right there compact which is uh just a compact mirror okay it's quite full now let's try to close it you see I think it will close now it's getting a little harder to close and you can see that it expanded quite a bit but that's what I love about the Constance wallet because it can really be easily closed versus the Kelly closure which will be even harder because this is essentially uh, you're just having to close the the H bar in any case if I'm gonna downsize anyway I'm not gonna try to stuff it like a sausage <laughs> I'm just gonna probably bring this so money cards um, during the cruise ship key cards um, a little bit of a sanitizer maybe I don't even want to bother with my lipstick I don't usually touch up anyway but you know if I needed to I, I definitely could it will definitely fit uh, and my phone that's all I need really and it if it's just these things it it closes so easily and it's not going to overflow your wallet and it's not going to break it or crease it of course it fits a passport and all those things which is why it's a great travel piece which is why i justified the price because it is quite high and um it's not a quota bag which is why um i'm able to buy it anytime as long as they have stock which is the hard part they don't always have stock consider the small leather good but most people consider this to be a bag because it is a price of a bag of a very expensive bag those are my reveals today i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know if you have any questions regarding the constants to go wallet um but I will let you know how I feel about it, especially after I use it during my vacation. I'll really, really get to know it a lot more, but I'm super excited and it's just so pretty. I just feel like I'll get a lot of different uses out of it because it really does act like a nighttime 
clutch for me as well. And of course, don't forget to check out Idea. They're just one of my favorite, favorite beautiful dainty jewelry, but with real diamonds. They're lab grown, but they're still real diamonds and they probably have better specs than a lot of regular diamonds out there. And I mean, I've been wearing this cuff this whole time and I've tried it also earlier. Just to show you, I know you guys are probably wondering. All I do is I just go from the thinner part of my ear, so right there, and then I just wiggle it in. Even if you flick it, see I'm flicking it, it's not moving anywhere. It's not gonna fall off or anything. So it's really, really well designed. And of course with the Tara, beautiful teardrop diamond. It's a huge diamond as well. So I know you guys will love it, especially if you're into dangling earrings. I'm always into super long dangling earrings or studs. You might be interested in my previous two birthday hauls. I know I've been really slow at posting them because like I said, guys, it's been so hard to film. I'm just literally drenched in sweat. <laughs> It's that hot. Hope you guys forgive me for not posting them quickly, but in any case, thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.